you're going to have to be very, very competent. But it takes more than that. You're also going to have to be compassionate. You're going to have to love your soldiers if you, as you love your very family. And you're going to have to be willing to give your life for them. You're going to have to be willing to actually die for your soldiers, for your families. And you're going to have to be compassionate to their every need and take care of them as if they were your, literally your brother and your sister, your mother, your father, or your son or your daughter. And then you're going to have to be leaders who have tremendous character. And that starts with integrity and honesty and candor. And I guarantee you, your character will be tested like it has never been tested before. And you will have to have steel spines to withstand the pressures that you're going to have to endure in the years ahead. And Norwich, I believe, has prepared you to do that. But character and compassion and competence are skills that you're absolutely going to have to deal with. Part of that also is going to have to be your intellectual development. You're going to have to be open-minded and adaptive to be able to deal with the complexity of the world that involves so many different dynamic elements that it's hard to describe in sentences. If the world of 1916 was complex, or the world of 1945 was complex, the world of 2016 is intensely complex. And I can tell you that from personal experience, and I know there's many others who can tell you that as well. And you will graduate and be in that world, and you're gonna be leading the soldiers and the sailors, the airmen and the Marines in that world. You'll be dealing with terrorists. You'll be dealing with hybrid armies. You'll be dealing with little green men. You're gonna be dealing with tribes. You'll be dealing with national leaders and local leaders. You'll be dealing with politics and economics. And you'll be dealing with direct fire and indirect fire. And you're gonna be dealing with it all. And it's all gonna be dealt with simultaneously. And for that, you're gonna to have to be ready. And that's why readiness, in my mind, uh, is number one. And their development as a leader, and the things we've learned over the years from our past leaders, still apply to everything you will do. You're gonna to have to have a strategic vision, the ability to look beyond the next hill. You're gonna to have to think and act and lead to develop others in a way that maybe has never been done before. You're going to have to be innovative and open to criticism and apply lessons from battles gone past.